In the final part of our conversation, award-winning author and playwright Professor Zeigsmda talks to us about where South Africa is today and how we can confront some of the challenges we face as we build a new country. I grew up believing that, that there is a core of good and a core of good leadership in the ANC, in the PAC, in ASAPO exactly. particularly. Exactly. Uh, and that that core would come to the fore when things seem to be foregoing of the rails. You come from those traditions. The, yes. You know, the, your family comes from those traditions. Yes. Do you see that core coming back? What amazes me is that even though that core is there, and even though you, you see that uh, is being suppressed, it has to a large extent allowed itself to be suppressed at this point. But you hear whispers, you see, amongst them. I do discuss with some of these leaders. There is a lot of disgruntlement within the ANC, among some of the top leaders some of the middle-ranked leaders. There's a lot of disgruntlement with what is happening today. There's a lot of unhappiness that is happening. Now, when you ask them, then what are you guys doing about it? They seem to say, okay, we are biding our time. It's not ripe yet, you know, to take action against uh, what is happening. In other words, they see, they see what is happening. Is that what's happening to artists, to writers? Do you feel that, do you get a sense that many of us, uh, people in the arts, uh, writers, journalists, uh, people who could be following in your steps, writing groundbreaking work are just sort of, there's a chill in the air that no, don't do the kind of work that that maybe emulates what happened with the spear, that no, it will come back, but for now, let's keep quiet. Yes, but then we, with writers, you know, uh, and, and, and other artists, also one understands uh, to, to some extent. I wrote a play uh, called Our Lady of Benoni, you know, which was quite you know, critical of, of, of certain issues. That play has not been performed yet, even though many producers are interested, I mean, love it. They are afraid. The fear, of course, is, uh, is mostly that they'll be blacklisted from funding. It's because we have a situation now where a lot of artists depend on the state for funding or depend on agencies that have been infiltrated by, by, by the state. In other words, you know, a CADA deployment, even in other funding agencies that are not state funding a a agencies. And then artists are afraid, are afraid of, be of being blacklisted, and then they will not get that funding, you see. Of course, you still have some brave artists who continue, you know, the Mark van, uh, Mike van Hrans of this world, who will write a play and, and, and say, okay, I'll write it and be damned. There, there are still artists, you know, like um, that Ayanda Mapunu, you know, who will who, who, who do those paintings, uh, you, you know, and say, okay, I'll paint and be damned, you know. Professor Amda, unfortunately, we've run out of time. We could go on like this for another two hours. But thanks so much for your time and for all the enlightenment. My pleasure. Thank you. Yes. And that's how we come to the end of our conversation with Professor Zeigsimda, renowned playwright and author of many books, including this one, The Sculptors of Mapungube. Do email us on justicefactoredenca.com, tweet us on at Justice Malala, and like us on Facebook. My name is Justice Malala. Join us next week for more news, views, and debates. Have a fantastic week. News that moves. ENCA.com.